Welcome back, folks. This is video two of our tutorial of how to survive in survival mode on this crash red ship into an asteroid. So what I've done is I've cleared out all this space here so we can build our manufacturing area. That took at least, I think it took about five refills of my suit to do that. Um, I also worked on just going to open this up a little bit as well. I left the wireframe, so if you take it down to just a little bit, you know, this is, this is walkable. It holds, oh, there you go. It holds my weight, so you can build stuff to this point, and you'll be fine, and then come by later when you have the materials and actually fill it out. But I took it at this point just so it'll very quickly. You see, you can fall without any damage. So, like, I did some very high heights up there, and just mined or grinded the block out from underneath me, and fell down. Since I did most of the work already, these are very quick. You'll see that... We do, when you get below 20% energy down there in the bottom left, it warns you. And that's when we run over here. Or, I mean, we could take a little longer. Uh, you have, you don't want to push it too close, but we do have it fairly close by. We also have our welder. If we wanted to, we could come by and just kind of fix up some of these blocks. Just make it less, uh, less dangerous. OSHA would have a lot to say about metal just sticking up everywhere while, where people are working. Operational safety health, I don't know, something like that. So that's good. And we'll run over and jump into our cockpit and get our suit all filled up so we can live. And now we can build our refinery. Like I said, you can build the refinery right on, right on top of the assembler so that you can just move things. They connect via a hatch, basically. There are two hatches that line up, and you can move things in between them very quickly. However, um, that actually makes it more difficult for automation if you want to do automation. It helps have them separated a bit. So, let's zoom out a little bit. I want to put it right up against the red stuff here. That way we have this little walkway that goes straight into our ship if you want, in the front. Kind of a nice little visual thing. I left that railing there, I don't know, just in case. I wish it did come by. We don't want people falling off the edge of the ship. Um, and so it had lights on it. I didn't feel like taking the lights out. So it only takes a second, but they look pretty. So I think that'll be fine. We don't need a whole lot of room. We'll put the assembly assembler next to it and then maybe a container or, or maybe two. But we'll have some pipes running around conveyors and stuff. So actually it's saying it's yellow. Did I miss something? What didn't I mine out there? Or to tell and move at the same time. Should be high enough. What aren't we doing here? I can't I can't have it on there and look up and see what I'm missing. Let's come in here with our just make sure all these blocks are okay. They are. Plenty far away. There's no, there's nothing up there. Not really understanding what the problem is. No, that should really matter, anyways. Well. Maybe it doesn't like the fact that the hatch, the, there's a hatch on the back, I believe, and it probably can't access that. So let's just let's have a light on it. It does. Fine. We'll get rid of this little triangle piece. It's very quick. A lot quicker than the squares. Maybe not a lot quicker. Just out of curiosity, let's, uh,. Because it needs the entire thing not surrounded by blocks at all. Now we still have our railing. And, what the heck, one more out of curiosity.
No. Of course, it didn't let us do it right there for some reason. That's really kind of bothering me, but I've wasted enough time on it as it is, so we will just put it there. Zero to get out of that. So we had plenty of... I mean, tons of room above it now. It just really did not like that area there. Let me know what I'm missing. I have no idea what it is. Okay. Well, that's fine. What we can do now, as you can see, it took... Um, want eight. It took one steel plate to put that frame in place. And we can just start building it. I actually had tons of steel plates because I took out more of the light armor blocks than I was really anticipating. I almost had enough alone from that. But it was much, much, much quicker to get them out of the, of the reactor. And you didn't need to mine out even close to this amount. In fact, you didn't worry, have to worry about tubes and stuff when you may not. You probably could have just got away with putting it right there without. Uh, I don't know. You might have to take away just a little four square block there. But it wouldn't have taken very long at all. I just get particular about where I want to put things, as you might have noticed so far. So we'll use all the steel plates we have in our inventory to do this. Actually, I got some more sitting on the ground over there because I did fill up my inventory. In fact, if I wanted to, I could come over here. So we got a bunch here. 1,200, which was enough to make it. And I had some that fell because my inventory got full. So, oops. Yeah. So it picked up all that it could. I'm left 10 behind, apparently. And we'll basically get almost all the way up to that red line with the steel plates alone, but obviously it does need all those other components to work. So, we got to that point, and we can put in our construction components. So... Pick those up. Yeah, let's just drop the rest of these here. Now, we could have stored them in this reactor with, like, the other stuff. But at least some of them. So, half a second there. We get all those components. Run, run, run. This is why gravity is awesome. There we go. Everything's put in there. And then, a few seconds later, we got a refinery. It already works now, but we'll, we'll top it off. There we go. So, all we need is uranium ore, and we are set. You know, I don't like having those things laying around, especially ones I can barely see like this. Of course, I can't hold all of them anyways. So, let's run over here and uh, dump the rest of this stuff in here. Do we have room for more plates? We do not. But we dumped off the motors and computers and stuff, which is good. So, pick those up, and then drop them off again. So we need room. How much do these take up? Only 36. We need room to go mining. So we'll get our hand drill. Uh, you can right-click on these to get rid of them very quickly. Um, that's good enough. Oh, not my hand drill. Right-click to put them down there. So what we need to do, the, the drill has a short little ore detector in it. But we're going to have to get very close to it before we can find stuff. Silicone. Very important. We need that. But the most important thing we need right now... Oops. Fell out of the gravity zone. Oh. So we need to find uranium. Uh, you know what? Before we do, let's be smart. Let's um, fill up our suit. We don't die in space. Definitely heed the warning when you're away from everything. And I find it's easier to find ore in the third person mode. You have to fly really close to this to get your hand drill at least to find stuff. I'm going to fly around until I see. Hopefully, there's some in here. I'm going to keep an eye on stuff so I remember maybe what's in here. But I want to see where uranium is. 
There we go. Now it's 17 meters, and we're going to get as close as we can, so we don't have to drill through a lot. Fortunately, I think that's about as close as we can get. Let's see if this side is closer. It's not. Yeah. And unless there's an interior hole that goes in here somewhere, and sometimes they do have holes that go straight through them, so it's easy to get to the middle. But, ah, get close again. Oh, uranium, okay. Let's try to get to that. But then... Actually, that might be uranium there. It's really hard to tell. I can use the light on my suit to help a little bit. Uh, everything's kind of slightly different colored or speck. I think that's rock there. And unfortunately, with the hand drill, you kind of have to grab things. And you have these medium-sized ones that disappear that you can't pick up. And then you have these that like fly into space. That's stone. Okay. So I won't even worry about picking up stone. You have this. Which is Ah. What are you? Iron. Okay. Well, it doesn't hurt to have iron. Oh, if I can pick it up. Why aren't you picking it up? Oh, it's so frustrating, especially once you run into it and it goes flying off at high velocity. It helps once you get a little hole dug. And stuff will stay a little more or less in the hole. So let's not worry about that. Really, mining without a... Without a ship. The drill on the ship is kind of a pain. Is that uranium? Nope, stone. I think the problem is my key bindings went away. Interesting. So I moved taking things out of the air from T, which is a little too far away from my finger to get to quickly, to R. Um, and I guess it didn't save from my previous... previous setup. So I just added R to T. I don't think R did anything. Anyways, if it did, I didn't need it. And um, what the heck, I'll save while I'm here, just in case. And let's go find our uranium. So I mean, I do want this stuff, but I'm not going to go really flying into space just to get it. So if you hold down your T key or whatever you bind it to, in my case R, then as soon as you would have selected it, it'll just disappear. But if you want to be able to read it, you don't want to be holding down R. Okay. Right this way. Now you don't really have to worry about running out of a lot of this stuff, so you can keep R held down as you're drilling. You might grab some of these, or T. Okay, that dark black stuff should be uranium. Perfect. That's what we want. Unfortunately, it does look very close to stone, but I think that might be some. And this is where it's a good time, good idea a lot of times to turn off your dampening system on your suit if you are chasing something so you don't overreact and fly into it or fly by it. You can pace it quite nicely. Where's my pole? There it is. I mean, these are issues you would have in space. Trying to mine things by hand. Okay. Uranium. So I guess that's the color of uranium. It looks awfully close to the color of uh, some of our iron and other stuff. Well, some? That's good. Which I think it's that. So that probably is a vein of iron still, but that's our uranium. I think uranium is the very dark black stuff. Rock, I think. That looks like uranium. It can be interesting in here. Unfortunately, we're too close for third person as well. Uranium, uranium. We don't need necessarily tons. Well, let's see. 
A lot of stuff is still flying out into space pretty fast. We could put a collector out here. There's various things we could do if we had the materials. Uh, we could just put a gravity generator here and have all the stuff just fall into this hole and then pick it up. I mean, there are ways to drill by hand efficiently, not have to worry about these issues. Um, but we're at the very beginning of our survival, and it doesn't make sense for us to cannibalize our like our gravity generator just for mining this uranium. And the uranium we get here, even if we don't get a ton of it, is actually going to be more than enough for us to not really have to worry about, about power anymore. I wish it had a longer reach. So, I don't want to bore you guys too much. This is probably plenty. I'll grab what's floating around in here. Lots of fun. He says sarcastically. But, you know, I really shouldn't complain about realism. The fact that the drills on the ships are actually capable and fairly efficient at grabbing most of the ore it doesn't get all of it. Um is actually somewhat unrealistic, if you ask me. Maybe if it had some sort of gravity components that you built it or something to pull the ore in, or maybe an ore attractor. I don't know what that would be that would universally attract all ore. But, so, you know, I don't want to complain about realism in a survival game. That's the last thing I want to do. At some point, it does become... You, you hit this threshold where too much realism equals no fun. But... Ah, uh, this game isn't even remotely close to that. I'll, I'll say it to a point, I guess. Um, Minecraft, I've found to get kind of... The hunger system took me out of the game after a while. There's only so many times that, you know, okay, well, I'm going to get the farm and the bread... You know, making just more or less automated uh, so I can do the stuff that I want to do. It just seemed like you had to have too much food to me. And obviously there's mods and stuff, so you don't have to worry about this too much. So what we can do here, we have some iron. We have actually have a good amount of iron. And we have some uranium. We throw the uranium into the refinery, and it'll just start making some uranium ingots. And I'll throw the iron in there too, because it won't hurt to have iron. Ingots, stone will turn into gravel, which we don't really need. No reason to waste energy making it, I'll put it that way. So, looks like we're going to get at least uh, one full ingot of iron, or of uh, uranium out of this. A little more. How much do we have? I can't remember now. Probably get one and a half, which doubles how much we had. So we'll go from one day of of um, fuel time. We're at two hours now. That can't be right. What system is using that much power? One day. Okay, so the problem is when I jump in and the the thrusters are on, if I move my mouse even a little bit, you know, the ship moves. See that? And that's using up our power. But it did stick at 0 0.05 instead of 0 0.02. Oh, the... Probably still on. That's it. So it was a combination of this act, the refinery actually working and probably me moving the ship a little bit. But, sorry, I can always hit the wrong button. So yeah, we got 1.5 uranium ingots. We can run over to here. Now we don't have to walk around that stupid cockpit anymore. And yeah, we more than double what's currently in there. Almost three. Float, I need to get rid of this. I'm just going to do that now. Uh, wrong thing, because I got rid of it. 
go. Get rid of that light. This way I won't hit my head every time I run down that ramp. Opens it up a bit, which is nice. Okay, what do I want? I want to check out our power usage. So, we have two days worth of fuel time. We're still using 0 0.05. I guess just having the... Um, oh, where is it? Where's the refinery? There it is. Maybe just having the refinery on at all uses some power. Nope. We were at 0 0.02. Two, I could have swore, weren't we? Oh. I'm looking at percent power usage. Which I think is percent of... Well, no, we should still be making that much. With I really don't know. But I'm not going to worry about it too much, because it doesn't really matter that much to me. There we go. The other option here is, you know, you could always just come out into space here. Right, go to... Oh, we don't... Sorry. Do we have any... Yeah, we got a few. So we need to have steel uh, plates. But we could build a new station, right? Come here, build it into the asteroid, just for making it seem like we're anchored to something. Unfortunately, we can't really rotate this block. We're stuck on that invisible grid you can't see. But we can rotate the ship to match it. And then basically maybe build out a couple, rotate the ship, put the landing gear on it, lock the landing gear, and then turn off the engines. We don't have to worry about accidentally bumping our ship into space. That's one way to do it. I find it a little less maybe realistic. But having the engines on is kind of not using power is kind of unrealistic as well. And we did go to the trouble to get all this, this stuff. So... It's a thought, and we can also turn our ship around a little bit that way and get the light from the sun in so we can see better. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. Uh, so thanks for watching, folks. In the next episode, what should we do? We need to get our, our assembler up and running, and we need to build a mining ship. And that's basically, once you get to that point, you're set. You can do whatever you want to do. You start working on building a base on the asteroid or building a attack ship to go you know, attack maybe the shipping lanes if you have them turned on. Or, you know, just survive however you want to survive. If it's build that ship to get home, you build the ship and you get home and you're done with your scenario and your brain. If you want to make this your new home and never kind of stop building and having fun, especially with multiplayer, you know, that would be great. That would be awesome. That's what I'm hoping to do uh, in the future if I can get uh, anyone I know uh, that has a decent enough computer to run this game to play it. And that should help once, uh, since this is early access, um, once the developers start optimizing the game, uh, it'll... It, and it runs it runs fine now. It's just me trying to record at the same time. I have to bump the resolution down a little bit and do that stuff. So thanks for watching. Come back next time, and I will see you all then.